Welcome to the 10 minute coding with Code Flash. Today's topic is all about text file manipulation using Stream Writer and Stream Reader. In order for us to achieve this goal, we will be needing a text box and a list view for our container for viewing. We need to edit the columns and then view to details. And then afterwards, we need to change the actual text of the columns to be first name, last name, and middle name. Those are the data that we will be accept accepting at one time and later we will be saving it to a text file. Full row select in order for us to select the entire row when we are at runtime. Grid lines to have grid lines at runtime. In order to organize the actual design, we'll be having a group box for mission coming from the user as part of a registry registration form. And that's all. We're done with the design. And that's all. We're done with the design. In order for us to do some file manipulation, we need to import the library system.io. Then afterwards, we'll be creating a create file method that creates a file through code. Declaring a path reg, creating locating an application that start up path, which is our default folder, plus the reg that text. That is where we will be putting our file. So part of the text is text whether the file is already exists. So if you observe on our daily block, there is no file created. At one time, we'll be going to create file and hopefully and create a reg that text and a reg that text. The next part is to create the method create file. Stream reader is the technique that we will be using. Stream reader divides the actual content into smaller chunks, making the content more manageable. So content is a variable which holds the actual content of the entire line for the text file. Take note that every time that we do the while loop and then we put read all lines, we'll read all of those lines under the file. So upon calling the read file, we'll be having a message box showing the first record. Now I'll be using a split function to split all of the contents of the first line or the entire line into three chunks, which is the first name, last name, and middle name. And then in order for us to insert the content in the list view, we'll be having a list view item to clear the actual content of the text box I created a method called clear text box then put a code text box 1 to 3 that clear to clear all of those content of the text box after I click the button clear all of the content of the text is already cleared in order for us to create a functionality that when we select an item on the list view, it will appear on the text box. We need to go to list view, selected, index change. And then, selected item is the item selected, while the sub item are the columns selected. Item is the item selected, while the sub item are the columns selected. selected. To create a save file functionality, we'll be using a stream writer. Stream writer requires the path rec which is the path that we had already declared and then string names are the text name text box the text concatenated with comma take note that our code is comma delimited and then right line to make our item inserted for each line so after creating the functionality we need to call read file and clear data clear text box 
So now this same thing, you just need to call it. However, there's an error. This is a very, very critical error. You just need to close the stream reader and it will be working. Take note, stream writer and stream reader needs to be closed. So now it's already inserted. The next functionality is to edit the actual content of the selected item. So to do that, you need to create a method edit and then check whether there's an item that is already selected. And then for those selected items, we'll be assigning the actual content of the text box to the related columns. So take note, some item is the columns of the selected item. Then, afterwards, you just need to call the edit. So, the next part is to create the names, that is, inserting the actual content of the record to the string variable names. And then, assign the content of the names into that actual variable concatenated with comma. So, for that part, you'll be concatenating all of the content on a one line with a comma deleted functionality. So the file with the text of text clears the actual content of the text file while the append the text inserts all of the content on the text file. So here we just need to put the path. So edit. Now it's already working. Clears the actual content of the text file while the append the text inserts all of the content on the text file. So here we just need to put the path. So edit. Now it's already working. Already working. So the delete function, you need to have a delete button. Then afterwards, you need to check whether if there's an item selected on the list view. Then, you need to remove the actual content by using the remove function and getting the index and remove. And then just call edit and then we're done. However, we need to tweak the actual edit function whether to put a parameter which is a delete containing a value of 0 or another way around is to remove the delete function or delete parameter and then the stream writer content will be just put or inserted on the lower part of the condition. And that's all. The delete function is already done. The next part is to have a message box asking whether you are sure to delete the actual content. And if you are if, and if you want to delete the content, just press yes or no, yes, and then automatically you will delete the content. And if it is no, you will not delete the content. There, there you go. There you go. We have already created a functionality that delete, insert, and update the actual content. Okay, that's fine. This technique can be used as a substitute for database management tools. But bear in mind, that if there is a complex data that we are collecting, we must use a database management tool. That's all. And happy coding. Keep in mind that if there is a complex data that we are collecting, we must use a database management tool. That's all. And happy. That's all. Happy coding.